Hey guys, it's just back here on another Friday for another review. Um, I uh, got back, just got back about an hour ago from seeing uh, 42, uh, the movie about Jackie Robinson. Uh, I had seen this movie, the trailer in front of this, in front of a lot of movies over the past few months. Uh, um, and from what I saw in the trailers, it looked like a really good movie. Uh, I was really looking forward to this. Uh, I I was like, how could they screw up a movie about Jackie Robinson? Um, and I also liked that a lot of most of it was that a lot of the people in this movie, from what I saw in the trailers, were a lot of unknowns, especially that I played Jackie Robinson. And, uh, and also, was, I, I, I almost didn't recognize Harrison Ford was in this movie until his name popped up in the trailer because I didn't recognize him at first when I was like, who the hell is Harrison Ford playing? Oh, no, that's... I was like, wow, I didn't I, I didn't realize that was him at first until they said his name in the trailer. Um, I was really... Yeah, like I said, I was really, really looking forward to this and I thought this definitely could be a good movie uh, definitely a good story to tell uh, and uh, definitely a great uh, person to make a movie about uh, definitely um, so what I think of it definitely I, I will say that this movie is probably one of the better movies I've seen this year this is real. This is a really, really good movie. Um, maybe one of the best. Probably maybe the best movie I've seen so far this year. Um, it's uh, it's a really, really well done movie. One of the things that really helps this movie is the acting in this. I can't really think of anybody in this movie that does a really bad job. Uh, I think the two people that stand out are. Uh, Obviously, the guy who plays Jackie Robinson. I forget what his name is. Uh, I looked it up. I forget now what his name was. But it's an unknown guy. I, I He's done episodes of like CSI and stuff like that. I've never seen him before, though. Um, and uh, he does a really good job. I think he does, yeah, he does a really good job. Uh, he plays a very charismatic uh, Jackie Robinson. Um, I, he's also kind of playing him a little cocky but not too cocky to say that uh, uh, he holds shows that you know, he holds back on being a little too cocky to say the least um, another person that was really good in this was Harrison Ford um, even though his, his voice is like this I, I can't do the voice it, it has a gravelly it, he, I mean Harrison Ford's had a gravelly voice as it, he already has a gravelly voice as it is, but he, he takes it a little more uh, extreme, I think. Um, that's I think that's why I didn't recognize him in the trailers. But even though his voice is a little distracting at first, he is really good at this. Uh, he uh, definitely is um, uh, definitely one of the big. Uh, uh, he is one, definitely one of the better acting has one has some of the better acting in this movie. The best acting, I mean, take that back. The best acting in this movie, some of the best acting in this movie. Um, he's definitely really good. He plays the Brooklyn Dodgers. Uh, is it not if it's manager or something? Yeah, the GM. Yeah, he plays basically like the GM of the Brooklyn Dodgers, and he decides that. Um, I, I know he's based off a real person, so I can't remember his name, so don't kill me, but, um, but he decides at the beginning of the movie that he's, uh, become the first, uh, GM to sign a black man in the baseball, and, uh, even though he knows it's a, he's gonna get a lot of crap from the media and everything else, uh, and, uh, he just, he, but he still does it, um, and uh, this movie, it's 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 really well done. It even has a really great, even for a serious movie as it is, 
it has a lot of funny moments too. Uh, there's a lot of uh, one of my favorites in particular was this the scene where he's I think the first day he played baseball in the minor leagues, he played uh, baseball with uh, Montreal. Uh, um, 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 God dang it, what was their names? Montreal Nationals, something like that. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, but he plays for. Um, team in Montreal, uh, a minor league team in Montreal, while the Brooklyn Dodgers are looking to, to recruit him. And uh, he, uh, there's a scene where his first time at bat, the pitcher decides to throw all balls at, uh, to throw, to throw balls at, at, at him. And, um, and of course he has to lock the bases. So he, uh, Starts messing with the pitcher and and uh, keeps stealing all the bases to the point that the pitcher gets flustered very much and uh, ends up costing uh, his team a, a run uh, because Jackie Robinson ends up getting a run run in because of uh, uh, the p- pitcher being so flustered. It's kind of funny. It's a really well done scene. Um, it it uh, one thing I've, I want to address and talk about though is um this is not this is kind of a complaint but it's not uh particularly about the movie itself i want to talk about the fact that uh when movie when um the movie uh one of my favorite movies my favorite movie last year was uh uh Django Unchained uh it was my I love Tarantino. I thought it was a great movie. If you hadn't seen any of my reviews, just to let you know. I love Tarantino and everything else, and I love Django. Uh, I thought it was a phenomenal movie. I gave it my fit my top ten list last year. I it was my number one, um, and the movie got a lot of crap. You know, I mean, it still does for the use of the N word. Um, this movie, being a PG-13, uses it a lot in this movie. And I'm not hearing anybody give crap to this movie at all. And that kind of makes me mad. You know, and I don't mind that they used the N-word in either movies because you got to remember historically this is a time where that was acceptable to say that kind of thing. And... I don't understand why critics are being lenient with this movie, but not lenient with, uh, sorry, Django Unchained. Uh, I don't understand that. I don't know how this movie got a PG-13 rating if, if they, uh, they, they, I mean, they throw this word around a lot in this movie. I mean, there's crowds yelling at him, the N-word, uh, other managers, Including the Philadelphia Phillies uh, manager, one of the most memorable scenes. He, like every time um, Jackie Robinson's up the playing up the bat is up the bat against the Philadelphia Phillies. Uh, basically, this guy just just keeps calling him the N word and just ragging on him and everything else to the point that he's getting flustered and can't hit the ball right. He's, he keeps uh, he isn't able to score or anything. Um, and it's it's a really good scene, uh, but I mean I don't understand why this movie's getting not getting as much crap, and I don't know how it pulled off a PG thirteen of that many use that many uses of uh, N word. I, I don't know. I, I think I think Hollywood needs to get their heads checked. I think, and a lot of critics do too. People that criticize the. Uh, I mean, maybe, I I guess maybe they're thinking it's okay because it's about a guy, about a real-life guy, a real-life uh, uh, icon, but I don't know what they're, I don't know what their uh, thinking is, that this is okay, but Django Unchained is not okay. I mean, again, like I said, I have no problem with it being in the movie, I just think it's hypocritical, <laughs> uh, like I said, I think it's not, I, I don't, I mean, I'm not condoning the word n-word at all i'm going to clarify that um but at for a movie that's based in um 
the forties and the movie that's based in like the eighteen hundreds. That you gotta remember that at that time that was appropriate. It, everybody thought that was appropriate. Nowadays it isn't, and like I said, it's I don't understand the criticism or you know. I don't. I mean, I know I'm just getting on to rant about it, but it. I think it's just really hypocritical of Hollywood. Uh, and uh, anyways, uh, let me talk about the pauses. Uh, like I said, I like this movie a lot. Um, it. Uh, I. This is another movie where I, I kind of like the movie The Help and a lot of movies that come out that are similar to this. Or I feel awful. I feel like awful to be white. <laughs> I, I, it, it, it happens a lot in, in these movies. It's like, God, we used to do some terrible things to, to the blacks. It's terrible what we used to do to them, and it makes you feel like a Scott. You know, it makes you hate being white for a, for two hours, kind of. Um, I mean, hell, even Django Unchained, I was rooting against my own race. I was loving it when <laughs> Django was killing all the white people. I, I mean, that's pretty funny when you're rooting against your own race. <laughs> we were assholes. <laughs> um, but, I mean, I don't know. Um, <laughs> uh, what other... I mean, the only downside for this movie... Um, is that it is cliched. It is a sports movie. It has all the sports movie cliches. There's even dialogue that's cliched, but whatever. I, I All sports movies are cliched. Um, but this is also telling a really good uh, story about one of the greatest baseball players that ever lived, for God's sake, who definitely changed the game of baseball uh um, I didn't know that they did, I found out at the end of the movie that they retired at number 42, and, um, uh, it, that's the only number that's ever been retired in Major League Baseball, that's pretty cool, and that every year, uh, every, yeah, every year MLB, uh, has a Jackie Robinson day where they, all the players were the number 42 all across the league, and I think that's really cool too. It shows you how much of an impact the guy made. Um, I mean, he was the first black man in baseball, and you know he revolutionized baseball. I mean, it didn't end segregation or anything. I mean, it was still going on tw for 20 more years after he started in baseball. But it, you know, I mean, it. He definitely like made a hell of an impact, and uh, he was. And it, this movie definitely shows how awesome he was in the baseball. At, at baseball, he was he was one of the best uh, uh, um, base stealers of the in baseball period. I mean, up there with uh, 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 Pete uh, or Pete Rose. I said Pete Rose. Pete Rose. <laughs> sorry. Uh, He's one of the best. He's definitely. He's like I said. He's one of the best. When you think of who are the greatest baseball players of all time, probably him and Babe Ruth are ones that come up instantly. Um, his name is synonymous with baseball, for God's sake. Um, I don't. I've heard things I talk about in this movie. Um, I don't know. Although I did find out, find myself towards the end of the movie when they're recapping like what happened to these people after the movie, after the events of the movie were over, I was like, "Who the hell is that guy?" And there was a couple times where I was like, "Wait, wait I, can't, I don't even remember seeing this. I, I barely remember. Did that guy even get lines in the movie? I could barely remember." I was like, "I think that was a little bit of an issue. It's like I can't remember. I don't even. I barely remember this character, or that character, like." I mean, it's one of those problems where you have too many characters in one movie, and sometimes you forget who the hell these people are. Um, I was, I mean, they're all, I, from what I'm, I can see, they're based off real people, but, I mean, whatever. Uh, um, damn, what else did I talk, I don't, not much else I could really talk about here. Uh, 
yeah, other than go see it, I, I mean, I. I don't. I don't think I have to get into the plot because I think people know about the Jackie Robinson story. It, basically, all it covers for, is uh, from his uh, days in the minor leagues to his first year of baseball, first year with the Brooklyn Dodgers. It just covers all, his whole first year of the Brooklyn Dodgers, and that's it. Up to uh, going, uh, leading the. Um, Brooklyn Dodgers to get in the World Series. They don't show his game, first game with, with the World Series. I didn't even... I, I'm not a Jackie Robinson historian, and I didn't know whether or not he won his first World Series or not, which he didn't. I, f- I found out at the end of the movie he didn't. He didn't win it until 1955, so I'm not a historian about Jackie Robinson, but um, yeah, like I said, go see this movie. I uh, really, really highly recommend it. Um... I'm kind of, yeah, I'm kind of rambling and rambling and rambling, but I'm trying to talk, keep on topic about the movie, and that's what I'm trying to. Um, I'll, one other thing I wanted to, I, I've been wanting to try to do is, like, talk about the trailers uh, that I get with these movies, because I, I do that every so often, um, but I didn't get really anything. I didn't, honestly, the only thing I got new was the trailer for a movie called Rush. It's a Ron Howard movie with uh, Chris Hemsworth and some other guy who has a weird they have some weird accents uh, in this movie. I don't know what accents they're going for. Uh, it's directed by Ron Howard It's a, and it's, it's about like drag racing and it actually does, I don't know if it's going to be good or not but the accents were a little distracting in the movie. Um, in the trailer, uh, got the hang, Hangover Part 2 trailer, which is not the new one, it just premiered, which, I like the new trailer for Hangover Part, I said Hangover Part 2, my bad, Hangover Part 3, um, it's not the new trailer that's online nowadays, but it's, uh, which is a lot better, and actually goes into what the plot is, and this movie actually looks like it's gonna be different than the other two, and it's not gonna have the exact same plot, Actually, I, I'm actually maybe now looking forward to watching Hangover Part 3 because it's not the exact same movie as the first two, thank God. But I don't know why. They, this is That was my problem with it, this uh, series is that it should have ended at Hangover. There was no point in making sequels. Nobody wanted a sequel. It was one of those movies that should be a standalone film. I don't know why they... Well, I know why, because they wanted to make more money. And these movies are making a hell of a lot of money. I'll still see it. Um, that comes out the same week as Fast and Furious 6, though. So I'm probably going to see both of those. Um, Great Gatsby trailer, which I... It's the same one I've gotten. I haven't got... I heard there's a new trailer, but I haven't seen it. I still... I love Leonardo DiCaprio and uh, Carrie Mulligan and all stuff like that, but then it's, I see it's being directed by Boz Lerman, who, if people that don't know who he is, he's the guy that made the 90s version of Romeo and Juliet, which sucked, and Moulin Rouge, which sucked, so God help me. Um, I It looks colorful in the 3D. I see in the trailer in 3D, and it looks great in 3D. Um, definitely Boz Lorman's movies should be in put in 3D. I definitely agree. Um, I just don't, I don't know what to think. I'm hoping it's good. Um, I thought it damn, like I said, I got all the same things. Oh, After Earth, which is, I love the fact, it's the movie of, of Wolf Smith and his son where, um, basically gets, his son gets stranded on a, like a uh, futuristic uh, version of Earth where it's all run by animals and it's basically a big jungle and all that stuff like that. I love the fact, though, that this movie is being directed by M. Night Shyamalan and you don't see his name pop up anywhere on the trailer. It's not even at the end. Nowhere. That's because he sucks. M. Night Shyamalan kissed my ass. He's one of the worst directors out there right now. He hasn't made a good movie since The Sixth Sense. And that's it. He's made six cents. That was it. And, uh, yeah. After, I, well, after the horrible, how horrible, uh, Last Airbender did, I mean, 
and how badly he received it was, I don't think they want to put his name on it. But people like me know this is being directed by M. Night Shyamalan, so I'm staying away from this. Um, unless, of course, by some chance, it actually gets good reviews on Rotten Tomatoes. I said I would go see a movie that's certified fresh. All the movies are certified fresh on Rotten Tomatoes. Um, there are wide releases, so I don't know. I, I might end up going to see something I really don't want to see. I have a feeling I will. That did happen with Spring Breakers, and I ended up kind of liking that movie. Um, but, okay, now I'm just rambling on about trailers. Um, I think that's a good time to cut this video off. Um, I will be back next week. Uh, actually, next week I'm going to be back with either one of three movies. Um, I can always go see Jurassic Park 3D and kind of just talk about my thoughts about, rem reminisce about Jurassic Park. I could go see Oblivion, which actually looks pretty good. Uh, or I got a free movie ticket for a movie from, I don't know if you guys can see this. Uh, here, yeah, see, right there. And it's called Girl Rising. Anybody can tell me what the hell Girl Rising is? I don't know. I have a free movie ticket for being a Regal, Regal's Crown Club car, uh, member. I got a free movie ticket for it. Maybe I'll go see it just because I got a free movie ticket. What the hell? I, I mean, I guess, I, I guess they don't expect anybody. I, I see, I've seen on Fandango that they're putting this movie with, uh, out next week, and I'm like, what the hell is that? I think it's something about, like, women in uh, education or something like that. I don't know. I, I don't I, uh, I don't know what the hell it is. I have to look it on the trailer. I have to look it for a trailer and see if it's any good. Maybe I'll go see that because I'm, I'm able to see it for free, for God's sake. So if you can see a movie for free, why not watch it? Uh, <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, I'll be back with something like what well, I'm probably gonna say Bolivian. I'm probably gonna be seeing Bolivian def Bolivian definitely. Maybe this, I don't know yet. Um so I'll be back next week with the, one of those. Uh and I'll talk to you guys later.